Hey, this is Matt of Cigar Hound Dog with a brand new cigar review for you. And today, I'll be smoking this Castagli Cigars Villa Castagli. This is a five inch cigar and it starts at a 54 ring gauge up here, then all the way down to a 58 ring gauge here, since it's a Figurado. On their website and everywhere I see it, the Vitola is called a Pigasus, P-I-G-A-S-U-S. I thought that was the coolest thing and kind of funny, and I knew I had to try this. So you can see at the bottom, very, very close foot. Looks like a fairly well-constructed cigar. Nice, firm pack. The blend is comprised of an Ecuadorian wrapper, Ecuadorian binder, two times Peru in the filler, along with Dominican and Nicaraguan tobacco in the filler. So, pretty unique. You don't see Peruvian tobacco that often. So yeah, uh, not much else to say about this cigar. This will be my first Castagli. I'm looking forward to it. And just a gorgeous, gorgeous band on that one. That's the thing that really caught my eye the most about this blend in general. So yeah, let's get this cut up, lit up, and see what we have. A little bit of a tight draw, but since the foot is so closed, I'm attributing it to that. So we'll see what we have once we light it up. So off the bat, I'm getting a lot of leather both on the retro hail and on the palate. Red pepper through the retro. The sweetness, it's like right in between like a syrupy sweetness and a citrus sweetness at the moment. It's hard to discern. Could be both, so we'll just say uh, maple syrup, orange sweetness. But yeah, leather is a thing that's really sticking out the most right now. So far, so good. I'll smoke this down through the first third. It's gonna be a little bit of a shorter smoke, but I'll smoke it down through the first third and I'll let you know what I get. Hey, we are at the end of the first third. Burn line's going great. Still plenty of smoke output. This is a very, very smooth cigar. I'm gonna say at this point, it's a mild to medium body. It's almost up to a medium body, but not quite. The uh, majority of the flavors are the same, except the spice. It, um, it changed from a black pepper spice to a white pepper slash floral spice. The leather's still there. The, actually, the orange citrus sweetness is gone. It's just now the maple syrup sweetness. Now there's oak as well and there's just a very, very faint hints of almond uh, as an undertone. Fairly short finish, lasts between three to five seconds before going away. And all the flavors are the same on the sinus as they are on the palate, except there's no spice on the palate just through the retro hail. And yeah, I'm enjoying it. I just wish there was more flavors. I'm liking the flavors, I just wish that there were more there. Not a bad cigar though. So I'll smoke this down, down to the Villa Castagli band. I'll let you know what I get. So we are at the end of the second third and things are going very, very well. I thought that there was a pretty good chance of this happening, but as the ring gauge gets thinner and thinner on a Figurado, the more intense the flavors have been getting, and that's what's exactly been happening with this cigar, which is good, because the one thing I wanted with the cigar was more flavor, and it's delivering. So yeah, largely the profile is the same. It is a medium plus body at the moment, much longer finish. I'll say the finish lasts like seven seconds or so, Almost a chewy smoke texture, not quite there. It's, uh, I'm gonna call it velvety, so light wispy smoke, but with a longer finish, it's good. 
Um, yeah, largely the profile is the same. Really the only difference is the sweetness. No longer has a maple syrup sweetness, but like a dark molasses sweetness. It's just coated in the palate. It's very enjoyable, very robust. And it's, I'm just, I'm liking it a lot right now. So yeah, um, hopefully things continue to go this way. I have high hopes for the, the final third since that's where it'll be at its thinnest. I'll smoke it down as far as I can. I'll get you the final verdict. Okay, so we're at the end of the cigar and things are going extremely well in the final third. This is one of those cigars that I'm gonna refer to as being a crescendo cigar, just where it gets better and better and better as you smoke it and it kind of just peaks in the final third, which is really good. In the first third, it was it was good, but just lacked body. In the second third, the body amped up, became a lot more enjoyable. And in the final third, the body amped up again. It's now medium to full body, and it's extremely enjoyable. The profile, once again, is largely the same. There's little differences I'll talk about, but once again, the predominant flavor is that dark, sweet molasses, just coated in the sinus and the palate. Through the retro hill, you're getting that. You're getting that white floral spice. Not so much uh, leather at the moment, just oak and then almond undertones. And you're getting on the palate the same flavors except the spices and just a ton of that dark molasses. Syrupy smoke texture, very long finish, and very, very enjoyable in the final third. So overall, I'm gonna rate this as satisfying. If the body was more amped up in the first third, I would have easily given this a memorable. But a satisfying is not a bad cigar. I would easily come back to this cigar expecting the same experience and enjoy the heck out of it still. So yeah, Castagli, you make some darn good stuff. This has been my review of the Castagli Cigars, Villa Castagli, and Pegasus. Gets extra brownie points for the name of the size. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you for the next review.